Hi everyone, in this video I will explain and show how to make simple direct AC controlled electric fence. current is limited with two resistors R1 and R2. We can use different value of these resistors, maybe 1K or higher and on that way we will change frequency of output inputs to the transformer. Mains 230 volt AC is rectified by D2. Charging C1 is limited by resistors L1 and L2. Capacitor C2 1 microfarad and 40 400 volt. Charge through resistor L3 and resistor L4, which reduce the flow of current to the diac keeps the triac non-conducting. After capacitor C2 is fully charged, the voltage across the triac rises and it conducts. This provides gate current to the triac. The triac fires and completes the circuit of the transformer. Diac conducts capacitor C2 discharge through the Diac. This reduces the gate current of the Triac and it switches off. The transformer will again turn on when C2 charges. The charging and discharging cycle of capacitor C2 determines the frequency of pulsing transformer. I have made this PCB from previous circuit and soldered all components here. Now I will uh, connect a power supply uh, direct on AC voltage 230 volt. 
Fields. I will make a little test for this circuit. I will uh, test it with uh, light bulb. It's LED 3 watt bulb. Now I will connect it to 230 volt volts. As you can see it's flashing this circuit also can be used as flasher I will just wait a little time to discharge this big capacitor Just be very careful because it's high voltage and every time before using this circuit be sure that the big capacitor is discharged and the main power supply is disconnected. Now I will try this circuit with, with uh, flyback transformer if you don't know how to find a primary coil for this transformer you can use a digital multimeter and uh, find the lowest resistance of all pins test all pins one by one and find the lowest resistance of it You will probably get uh, two or more pins with the same uh, resistance. Uh, you can uh, test both uh, because uh, a flyback transformer can have more than two primary coils. Now I will uh, test this uh, flyback transformer with this circuit as you can see I get a high voltage on output for this flyback transformer as I said before you have a uh, maybe two primary coil for this transformer uh, on one coil with one coil you will get a higher voltage uh, with the other primary coil you will, you will get a lower voltage now I will uh, make another test with my second flyback transformer I made custom primary coil for this transformer as you can see I have some windings of 2 millimeters wire on this core now I get a little better result with this custom made primary coil voltage is a little bit higher
I will make a third test for this circuit. I will use a car ignition coil. It's 12 volt ignition coil. I will test this ignition coil. I get a very good result with this ignition coil. It's better than flyback transformer.